So for quite some time now, we've had a supply problem. And now, as of lately, we have a demand problem. My name is Manuel Sanchez with Compass Real Estate, and this is your market update. So naturally, there are a lot of people that assume the worst because of COVID-19. The stay-at-home order across the US has the economy at a complete halt and has thrown us into an instant recession or what people are calling a panda session. And as a result of this, the minds of so many immediately jump into the recession of 2008. Everyone was either impacted by the free fall of home values or knew someone who was hurt by the sudden real estate slump. So since we are in another recession, then home prices should certainly drop, correct? Not so fast. Everything boils down to supply and demand. Here's a quick history lesson as to what happened leading up to the Great Recession. So in March of 2008, the subprime lending industry collapsed. Demand instantly dropped to levels that we are seeing today. Yet in those times, the amount of homes on the market was four times what we currently have today. With very low demand and a huge supply of homes, the housing market ground to a complete halt and home values plunge. The overly abundant supply and unstable credit foundation for the housing stock led to the tumble in values. And looking at it, that's just not where housing is today. So yes, there is a demand problem where buyer's activity has substantially slowed down to great recession levels. It's crazy how quickly it shifted from firing on all cylinders a month ago to a snail's pace today. The demand problem is contrasted by the supply problem. There simply just isn't enough homes listed for sale. The showdown between supply and demand are two countering forces that are moving housing into a balanced market that does not favor buyers or sellers. Low demand pushes the market in a buyer's favor and low supply pushes it in a seller's favor. And as a result, a balance occurs. Looking at the numbers for San Diego County, the demand dropped by 27% in the past two weeks. And at the same time, the inventory grew by 4%. So with demand slumping, the inventory should climb sharply, yet that is not the case. Instead, fewer homes are being put up for sale. So weak demand has pitted up against a very slow supply of homes coming to market. This is why we're moving towards a balanced market and not a buyer's market. So the showdown has begun. The supply problem has been matched by a demand problem. And we'll see how it plays out in the next few weeks. I'll definitely keep my eye on it and we'll keep you guys updated. Uh, I know it's uh, uncertain times right now and it's troubling times, but I believe that we will have a great comeback story because humanity always wins. I really believe in that. So um, hopefully you guys have been enjoying this market update. If you have any questions about any of the certain neighborhoods or specific neighborhoods in San Diego, please feel free to reach out. I'm always here to help. In the meantime, stay positive and stay safe. I'll see you guys in the next one.